In this video, I'm going to try to give you a very rapid whirlwind tour of Screenshot Capture version 4. So let's go up to the quick capture bar, capture the screen. We see a post capture dialog which lets us perform some quick app operations like printing and sending copy to the clipboard. Let's show the main dialog here. You can see the image. It's auto named it. We could change the name here like notepad shot. Hit enter. It's renamed it. You can see it's captured the application title, date, and uh, window title. Let's um, select a larger region here and then blur and blur everything outside. You can see it's blurred the taskbar since I don't want people to pay too much attention to that. Let's add a little arrow with some text. Let's um, maybe highlight the menu bar with a little highlighting thing. Put some text over here. Mm, resize it a bit. Oh, I guess that's okay. Okay, there's our image. Mm, it's a little big. Let's select it and crop. Let's add a nice border around it. Let's save it as a new version. So there's our original. There's our new version auto named. And let's upload this to a hosting site. It's copied it to the clipboard. Whoops, there's a new one. Copied it to the clipboard so we could share it with friends. And um, let's close the dialog. Let's capture something new. Let's try a browser window here. This time, instead of capturing the whole screen, whoops, instead of capturing the whole screen, I'm going to capture the last active window. And here you can see it's captured just the Chrome window. Let's um, add a caption. This is Chrome. Quick caption from this dialog. Uh, you can see it's captured the window. It's automatically added my uh, title, which I can edit. You can see when it captured the window, the Chrome browser window, it actually got the title of the window and captured the um, URL from the browser, which you can configure, of course. And uh, let's see, what might we do with this? Let's say we wanted to get rid of this stuff seamlessly. We could go and splice it out. And now that looks a little ugly, but it's spliced out the top. Let's control Z to undo to bring it back in. Let's see, what could we do here? We could print it. Let's see print the screenshot. There's a little preview of the printing and there it's added the caption information to the printout. We could um, quickly create a thumbnail of this if we were going to post this on a blog. We could bring up the thumbnail dialog which has lots of options for size and ways to make a thumbnail. So let's accept this and we'll say we want to save the changes and make a thumbnail. There's our thumbnail which we could now copy the file path to the clipboard and upload it to our um, blog or whatever. Let's see what else could we do. Well let's say you don't want to have to get that post capture dialog. It slows you down. Let's say you want to make lots of captures quickly. We could come up here and say after capture just save it and keep it minimized. Don't bother me. Okay so I'm going to click on this link and hit print screen. Go back, click on this link, hit print screen, go back, click on this link, and hit print screen. Okay, so let's double click on the um, tray icon to bring up the main window and you can see it's captured this one, then this one, then this one, all without interrupting your workflow. So sometimes you want that post capture dialog, sometimes you'd like screenshot capture to just stay out of the way, which it will, okay. You can see that these um, this browser area here is a full browser. You can drag files in and out, right click, whatever. I'm just gonna select a bunch of them and move them into the older folder. I don't need them anymore. 
and go back to our original notepad screenshot. Let's see what else could you do. You could um, scan something from your scanner. Let's try that. Let's uh, initiate a scan, which it's doing here. Let's see, it's a little off screen. You can't see the progress, but it's scanning. Okay, it scanned an image from my scanner. I could now bring up the quick adjustment dialog, tell it to detect the uh, skew, the rotation. There, it's fixed the rotation. I'm going to say OK. There's our new image. It's auto selected the uh, what it thinks is the document. Let's crop. And there we have it. There's our scan auto rotated to fix the skew. And we're going to save it as a new file here. So there's the original scan. And there's the fixed one. What else could we do? We could capture from the webcam. So here's a picture of the webcam. Let's snapshot that. There's our webcam. Let's uh, add a caption. My books. I already tried that last time. Okay. So there we go. There's the caption. Let's put a nice border around the whole thing. Save it. And send it to someone. We could send it to my to myself. And it will send an email with the file attached. Or we could upload it again. There it is, uploaded. In fact, let's just click on that and let's see if it worked. And there you go. There's the file uploaded to be shared with others. What else can we do? We've got lots of different ways to capture things, lots of different special effects. Let's say we could add a watermark around that if we didn't want people to steal this image. We could go to the clip art. It's a little hard to see with this thing, but let's say we could right click and say apply this as a watermark. And uh, there we go. There's our watermark over the entire image. Um, what else? We could try a scroll and capture, but this window is too small to show it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to undo this watermark though. And uh, let's see, I tried to switch away from files. It's asking me to confirm, yes, save the changes. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Do we want to see some of the special effects? Pixelate, if we didn't want people to be able to read this too well, we could pixelate it a little bit or blur it or whatever. Oh, let's try some ragged effects. Let's say we've got this. Save changes. Let's say we've got this. And we want to make it, let's say, we only wanted to do half the screen here. So let's say special effects. Um, ah, what did we want to do? Let's say we wanted to, let's crop this. Let's crop there. Let's try to get rid of this second line here. We'll go up here and say patch contents. There, it's gotten rid of it using the background. Save that as a new version. Um, let's try getting rid of this second half with the ragged edge. So I'm going to say do a ragged edge effect. Let's just leave it all these defaults here. You can see it's made this little ragged edge. And that's that checkerboard is the background. If you want to see what it would look like on on white background. There it is. Let's put a nice shadow. Actually, that's a little awkward. Let's try putting the shadow around now. And now merge the background. There we go. There's our nice splice effect. Let's see what else. Um, selection region. You can see there it's showing the size of the selection. I can nudge it with the keyboard to grow it move it around do another crop put a nice border around the whole thing save it as a new version we can do some quick resizing we've got our presets here we could make it half size uh, well i guess that's enough of a tour for now there's lots of features i haven't gone into um, but you'll, you can go 
watch other additional screencast videos on the website or just download it and try it for yourself.